sounds you just heard are my Les Paul into a deluxe reverb reissue and the uh, 60s one reissue and this, which is a love pedal white dragon fuzz. Um, it is, I've had it for a while and it has replaced every fuzz on my board. Um, it does it all and it's my by far my favorite fuzz I've ever played. Um, so we'll get into why I love it so much. There's only three controls. We have volume, fuzz, gain, and this is a blend control. And it's kind of hard to explain what it does, but you'll be able to hear it. And I'll put a picture that Sean has sent me of the different settings you can use to get different tones. Inside, there's a bias control, and it's close to its good dimension um, that I'm running it off of a carbon battery. Um, fuzzes definitely sound better off of batteries, especially carbon ones. Um, so, as most of my demos, when I can, I use a battery instead of a power supply anyway, because most of these pedals, if not all of them, sound better. So, we'll get into why. So, I have it set like this. Usually, I set it like this. So it's about unity gain. It sounds better when you goose it a little bit. more tones. So when you turn down this blend knob, what it does to for a player, for when you're listening, it takes low end away, for sure. It becomes less fat. When this is cranked, it reminds me of my germanium fuzz face. And when the fuzz is cranked, especially, it's even more gain than my germanium fuzz face. <laughs> So with the gain down, and this up, with the gain a halfway, keep the volume where it is, and this is cranked, you get this. Really woofy, dark, but very clear still sound. Then, you turn this down to about halfway, turn the gain up a little bit. Very overdrive. You turn this down even more, you lose a lot. You use more low end. Turn the volume up a little bit, turn the gain up, put this still down, down a little bit more. It reminded me, put this down. Keep in mind, this is the clean sound. It's very clean, there's no breakup at all. The, the volume's on... Actually, I'll include a picture here um, of the settings of the amp. Everything's from the amp. Reverb, everything. First input of a deluxe reverb reissue. Now, back to this. So when we... Crank the gain and keep this down. It reminds me of like a range master sort of thing. It went back in the old days when they used to use a treble booster. But if you plug a treble booster into a fender amp, and it's not turned up, you don't get good results, but with this, you definitely do. I'm trying to think of... Reminds me with my Les Paul of like, um... 
a very Billy Gibbons. <laughs> to the way I like to use this. Turn the gain down. Turn this back up. There's good. And the volume to taste. I mean, this is about unity gain. It's unity. It sounds quieter in the room because it gets darker. So it's about the same. That cut about as much right there. This reminds me of um my fuzz I turn everything up I turn the volume up and I turn the gain up so for a few seconds I'll do that I'll keep this where it is because it still re retains clarity which is, I think a big point of this fuzz over a lot so this is real loud I might cut this a little bit and this a little bit because it takes off some of the high end it's it's just a huge sound I really hope through I hope that it comes through on the camera <laughs> So now when you turn it up, you get, you definitely get more brightness through. Um, so I usually use it like this, probably like that. That's my setting. I'd say that's about good. I like that cloaked sound with a fuzz because sometimes I'll run it in other drives and I usually play it a lot of volume than this. Don't get me wrong. We are definitely working the amp a little bit. It's it's pretty loud in here. I'm not working the power amp, but I am definitely working the preamp, and this thing's hitting it pretty. Pretty. And we'll go to the neck pickup, and we'll turn it down.
that's really all that needs to be said. That chord alone should get you to buy this pedal, to be honest. It's incredible. It's the only fuzz I've ever plugged in to every amp. In this room, I wish I had time in the video. In this room, there is an AC-10, an AC-15, a Deluxe Reverb, a Milkman Pedal Steel Mini, and an Orange Rock of Verb 50 Mark II with a 212. And it sounds this good into every single amp. There's not many fuzzes that sound good in a clean amps is the first thing, which is a huge problem. The tones we all love are usually very loud amps with a fuzz into it. Hendrix, that, that's, that's the main, I, to me, that's the benchmark of a fuzz tone. Nowadays, Doyle Bramhall's doing it. He stacks them, puts them in other pedals. But this gets you the sound and the feel you want from a big amp, or a, a turned up amp, not to say big, with a fuzz into it. But as you'll see when I post my, I'll even, I'll even do it again. I'll put the settings of the amp. Um, here again, I'll put it early in the video in here. Um, it really, really, really blows my mind. It blows me away. It really and truly does. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next demo. Thanks again.